Okay, today I'm going to show you how to adjust data for inflation. Okay, I've downloaded some data from StatsCan. It's table 2030018 from the Serving of Household Spending. It shows the average family's contributions to charity. Now you can see in 1997, the average family was contributing $424 to charity, 2009 that had number had gone up to 636 numbers, $636. But the thing is, there's also been some inflation during this period. So we want to say, okay, adjusting for changes in inflation, adjusting for changes in the cost of living, how much have charitable expenditures really increased? Okay, so the first thing to do is to go and get some data on prices. We can do that by going to the Statistics Canada website and getting some data from CanSim. Okay, I'm gonna take you over to the Statistics Canada website. The CanSim data is under key resources here. Okay, now we can go to prices and price indices, consumer price index, that's the one to use if you've got data on people, on consumers. Okay, we want to get an annual measure because we've got annual data. Here we go. Now, our data, if you remember, went from 1997 to 2009. This data here only goes from 2007. So we're going to need to add and remove some data. We have Canada. That's fine. That's what we want. Now, it looks like there's all sorts of things like food checked. We don't want those checked. We don't need the food CPI. So we're just gonna check all and then uncheck all. That gives us here, get the all item CPI. That's a measure of overall inflation. You know, there's some question about which one to use, but this is a good general measure of the cost of living from 1997 to 2011. Um, we have lots and lots of years of data, so to make it easier, we'll put time as rows. Okay, use time as rows if you've got lots of years of data. Okay, and let's apply it. Okay, here's our information about prices. Okay, now download it onto a spreadsheet. Okay, download the data and up, ah, here it is. Okay, here's our consumer price index. I'm going to control C to copy it and then control V to put it back in our original spreadsheet. Okay, and we're just gonna have to add in a couple of cells here so everything is nicely lined up here. Our 1997 is lined up with the 1997. That's why I copied these years as well because it's very easy to lose track of things so it's kind of handy to uh, you know copy the table information, copy the year information while you're, you're doing your work so you don't kind of lose track of what you're doing. Okay now what we want to do is we'll just to copy these years again. Uh, what we want to do is we want to adjust this expenditure for inflation. Okay, so what these inflation numbers do is say, okay, these consumer price index numbers do is they say, okay, we have a basket of stuff that cost $100 in 2002. In 1997, a basket of stuff cost $90. In 2011, a basket of stuff cost $111 or almost $120. Okay, so we just, you know, can divide or multiply to adjust for the cost of a basket of stuff that's equivalent to $100 of 2002 stuff. Okay, so. These were our contributions to charity 
in 1997 in 1997 dollars. We divide by the 1997 CPI to take into account the fact that stuff was cheaper then. Okay. Now, this on its own would just give us the numbers in 2002, but we don't want 2002. We've forgotten what 2002 dollars are. Let's go all the way here to get it in 2011 dollars. Okay, and that's it. Okay, now let's just format this as a number with no decimal places. Okay, that just makes it way easier to read here. Okay, so again, took our original number divided by 1997 prices multiplied by the cost of buying a basket of stuff in 2011. Okay, now one thing we're going to need to do before we cut and paste is just stick a little dollar sign here. What that's going to do is that it's going to keep that 21 just same place. That's going to keep everything in 2011 dollars. So just stick that little dollar sign before your 2011 number. Okay. Now control C to copy. Control V to paste. There you go. Now we actually didn't have any data in those last two years, so shouldn't have bothered with them. Okay. Here's our consumer price index data. Great, eh? I mean, so what you can see is that the increase in charitable donations, yeah, it increased, but you know, a lot of that was in the first few years, eh? Um, you know, kind of as the economy was picking up and stuff. It hasn't actually, it's sort of been pretty stable over the last, you know, not a, maybe it's a big, a bit of an upward trend, but not, not huge. Anyway, so there you go. That's how to adjust data for inflation.